through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Jump it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 153. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're giving you our DVD rundown mm -hmm. for the week of, let's see, May 29th. Man, May is just flying by. Yeah, last week of May. Get Started your... with Avengers, we're already in the last week. Can you believe it? Yeah, that's pretty crazy to think about. But, you, know, you know, we're ending May on, I guess, an interesting note. There's yeah. some interesting stuff, you yeah. know? So let's, Could let's, be a lot worse. Let's get this show started. Yeah. The first one you uh, brought up that mm -hmm. we want to talk about was True Blood Season 4. Yes. And I must admit, I have not seen Season 4. Mm -hmm. I have seen up to Season 4. Mm -hmm. And I'm really on the fence yeah, of True Blood. That's what you've said. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this when it comes out. I'm going to watch it. Mm -hmm. and even then, if you're disappointed. Even if I'm disappointed. <laughs> Especially. I'm <laughs> hanging in with the thread. This, this is your last chance to wow me, True Blood. You better you better come together. I don't I, I don't want to spoil things for you, but I haven't. From I don't think I heard good things about really? the fourth season. Fingers crossed. I don't think it's an upturn. I think yeah, it's a well. continuous plummet. <laughs> I'm sorry, Spencer. Optimism. I'm sorry. Optimism. Shh. <laughs> The, la, inter la, la, la. <laughs> yeah. the interesting thing about this one, though, is just like recently we we're talking about uh, DVD or uh, TV series not doing yeah. the, the Blu-ray DVD mm -hmm. and the digital copy. Mm -hmm. And this actually does all three, which is pretty cool. I there mean, go HBO. Yeah, it's, it's seven discs total um, for the whole pack. Not plus bad. you get the digital downloads, which, I mean, I think that's great. I mean, granted, this probably like. 13 episodes or something. Yeah. I mean, it's not like your usual super long one, but mm -hmm. that's that seems ahead of the curve to me. Yeah, I really like the idea of like a short series like that giving beaks so many discs because that clearly. Well, I mean, you just think about like Law and Order. I would much rather have like all that digital than like 30 <laughs> million discs of Law and Order. Yeah. But. yeah, just visit Scarecrow and go to any TV section and yeah. watch the Seriously. expanding. <laughs> but you know, it also has, let's see, uh, it's got uh, a feature out with Alan Vol uh, uh, Alan and Ball. All mm -hmm. revealing, you know, exclusive never before seen glimpses into the post production. It's mm. got six audio commentaries. It's got an interesting one that's uh, called Flashback, Flash Forward, mm. Jump Out Video, where you're able to move through time in the world of Bon Ton, which is the city in the show, mm. and flashback to relive vital or pivotal moments, or flash forward to reveal the significance of certain scene. Interesting. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, so yeah. kind of an interactive, like, hey, this this is how they all connect. Which is great, because that's something I always have an issue with. Like, I would love that for Lost. Because oh, there's God. so many things that connect after, like, a lot of time in a series. And, yeah. I mean, granted, this is only four seasons, but, you know, even still, there's, like, it's been a year or two since I last watched it, so I, I could I have a good very buddy. much use that. I have a good buddy who watches, has a thing called Chronologically Lost. And it's all of the episodes, all the scenes in Lost in chronological order. Wow. And he watched the, rewatched the entire series that Whoa. way. And because he's a huge super fan, he's like, you know, it's, it's amazing how many things that people think are really vague or pretty clear when you see it in chronological mm. order. And so, you know, stuff like chronology is interesting when, yeah. considering how much stuff people would do with narrative and shows like Lost and I assume to a certain extent True Blood. Yeah. Next up is We Need to Talk About mm. Kevin, mm -hmm. the controversial film from Lynn Ramsey mm -hmm. about a kid who's kind of a problem child mm -hmm. who kind of goes on a rampage mm -hmm. at his school and kills some people during it. I remember you talking about this for Hunger yeah. Games, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a pretty intense film. It's really, <laughs> it's really kind of tough to watch because it's really awkward it's really mm -hmm. brutal it's really unpleasant a lot of the time but it's really well done it's got some interesting stuff you know behind the scenes with uh cast and crew which is you know tilda swinton mm -hmm. john c riley john c riley you know interesting people it's got a conversation with tilda swinton from telluride film festival hmm. uh it's got a interview with lionel shriver the writer of the original book oh, that it's based on which Man, that's got to be an interesting dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, if you're able to write something like that, you got to be a messed up dude. Or a completely calm and normal dude who just has messed up stuff going on inside. Like I, Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, he's a real, <laughs> real, real good guy to compare. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. You know. <laughs> and it also has an exclusive essay by psychoanalyst Mark Stafford, which sounds kind of interesting yeah. to me. I'd be very curious to hear like a psychologist's perspective mm -hmm. on this film. So. And that might almost be more, for me, more interesting than the film itself. Totally. Diving into totally. The, not that the film doesn't sound interesting. Right. Perhaps. 
And uh, finally, we want to talk about Goon. Mm -hmm. We talked about it in honor of Sean William Scott mm -hmm. earlier this year. It's finally coming out on Blu-ray and DVD. Mm -hmm. Got a full pack of that. Blu-ray, digital, and uh, DVD. Mm -hmm. It's... It's an enjoyable film. It's definitely not anything super complicated. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've seen people comparing it to Slapshot, and I tend to think Slapshot's probably funnier. Mm, okay. But it's still it's still That's a pretty entertaining. Paul film. Newman was that Slapshot? Slapshot? Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this has you know it's got you know deleted scenes, outtakes, and bloopers, which is cool. The one that interested me is it's got a fighting 101. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I mean, especially a hockey film. Yeah. You know, it's got oh, to have yeah. some good fighting Hockey tips. film based on a guy who kind of got into it because he liked to fight. That seems yeah, that's like that's right. Fight. It's based on a true story. Yeah. So, so I mean, that fighting one one's going to be I wonder if he actually is in that. That would be pretty awesome. If he's just one of the fight. extras beating, getting beat up or punching someone. That would someone. be awesome. <laughs> uh, it's got an HDNet look at Goon. Mm. I mean, it's another Mark Cuban mm -hmm. production, so it explains why HDNet did a preview of it. Mm -hmm. And then it's got a commentary by the director, Michael Douse, and Jay Baruchel, mm, who's one yeah. of the co stars and co-writers of that's the film, right. so that's yeah. pretty cool. But that's our list for this week. Let us know what you're going to be getting at MacGuffinPodcast.com. Join us uh, next episode mm -hmm. when we talk about when animals attack yes. in honor of Piranha <laughs> 3 Double D. Yes. When animals attack, not the show that used to be on Fox. That's a pretty, pretty entertaining show, too. <laughs> so, yes. Films about animals attacking mm -hmm. people, basically. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you can find us at MacGuffinPodcast.com, mm -hmm. Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast. Tweet us. Facebook.com <laughs> slash MacGuffinPodcast. Hang in there. Hang tight. Hang loose and tweet uh, us in Hawaii. Phone number 323-761-9842. We're on all those good places like iTunes, mm -hmm. Miro, Roku, uh, Blip. Dot TV. TV. And uh, check in. Check in. Get glue. And we'll see you next time.